Hey you guys, can you manifest with anxiety and when you have emotions and how do you do that? If that is something you're wondering, then this video is for you. And I'm actually going to use a success story um, from one of my amazing clients who's able to manifest her specific person back despite her anxiety, her negative thoughts, and actually manifest a marriage. So if you guys are interested in learning about that, check this video out. If you guys do not know me, my name is Megan, a manifestation coach who's been around for a long time. Um, and I would love to help you guys. Uh, we, and When you work with me, we're gonna get to the root cause of your subconscious beliefs help you do some healing and connect with um, your yourself, okay? Connecting, bringing the power back to you, really getting to everybody's you pushed out, but getting to the root cause of those subconscious beliefs, and most importantly, how to transcend those, okay? And overcome those, because our whole world is a manifestation of our belief systems, okay? What we're believing to be true, what we are consenting to be true, based on various assumptions, that we have had throughout our lives. So we're changing those and transcending through those. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and read the success story. I contracted with Megan to coach me in manifesting my SP. During the time we spent together, it was as if Megan was able to connect with my inner self and show me the parts of myself that I could not see that were limiting beliefs. Again, that's what I'm here for, okay? I'm going to be able to do that because you guys, you're on autopilot, we all are. So sometimes we're not aware of those stories, those limiting beliefs that we feel that are, we're so ingrained in, that we feel that are so truthful. So I'm gonna help you guys like figure those out so you can manifest more easily, okay? And to keep the manifestations, all right? That's the goal here, right? Keeping those manifestations. Those times, it was if there was a literal click. I could hear deep within. And each and every time I saw movement that was 100% mirror experience of what was going on within. I also struggled with such severe anxiety that I needed to be medicated. Even my own doctor was working me up for a broken heart syndrome. <laughs> okay, so she has going to therapy, um, feeling very anxious, and even her doctor is reflecting that back to her. Somehow through all of that, I kept saying that no matter what, I knew he loved me and wanted to be with me and that I was not going anywhere and moving out or breaking up from this relationship. Despite the panic attacks and extreme anxiety, I kept those beliefs on repeat in my mind. I did man manifest him back. I also manifested a two carat emerald cut diamond, a move to Florida, a beautiful home we picked out, and a wedding to my SP who used to say, I will never get married again. To which I would say to myself, yes, you're going to marry me. The bottom line is that the biggest benefit to using a coach like Megan is that she has amazing ability to see through what you might not be able to see in the moment and help you change your change your reality to the one you decide. Aw, I'm so proud of her, okay? And I'm so happy for her. And that's what I'm here for you guys, to help you guys manifest any desire you want, whether that be a specific person, whether that be money, whether that be career, whether that be love, you know, you can have anything and everything you want. So this is somebody who was able to manifest her specific person back despite the anxiety, despite what was being shown to her, and reflected back in circumstances. So we work through those. We work through her limiting beliefs, things that happened in her childhood, okay? And we're able to get to the root cause and actually remind her that she's empowered, okay? So if you're having limiting beliefs or you're having negative thoughts, it's okay. All right, here's a success story that tells you that. All right, let's remind ourselves that if we are creating rules for ourselves in our reality, that we feel like we cannot be anxious or we feel that we are continuously wrong for reacting, we are the God of our reality. So we're continuously recreating those rules for ourselves. And since everybody's us pushed out, you're going to be met with circumstances or people saying things to you to reflect that back to you. So therefore you can 100% manifest with anxiety. Okay. It's the anxiety is there because it's a fear-based thought. Okay. The fear is there to protect you. All right. That's how your brain is set up. It's there to protect you. So you want to listen to what that fear is saying. You don't have to dismiss that fear. You do not have to push it away. And for God's sake, stop judging yourself and thinking you're messing up your manifestation because you're a human being having fear-based thoughts. 
you need to start listening to those thoughts. That's what really a mental diet is about, okay? We're gonna start becoming aware of what we're thinking, all right? We're not going to beat ourselves up for feeling fearful, okay? We're not gonna beat ourselves up for feeling anxious. That's just gonna create more resistance for you and make you feel more shitty about your situation, all right? So you can manifest whatever you want all right, based on whatever feelings that you are having. Now you can stabilize your body and stabilize the trauma response that you could be having or the anxiety. You can soothe yourself. You want to accept yourself through this entire process, but you definitely don't want to start making these rules up for yourself that if you have anxiety, you cannot manifest what you want. If you react in a certain way that you can't manifest what you want, that's a bunch of bullshit. All right, you're the God of your reality, so you can manifest what you want. 3D is just a reflection of what you have going on with your thought processes, okay? And if you're creating stupid ass rules for yourself, you're going to continuously be met with those rules because it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? It's a reflection based on the rules you are making. So this person, again, she was broken up with, she was rejected, she was living in a state of rejection, okay, which was stuff that had been circulating for a long time within her. So we looked at those patterns, all right, we really looked at the patterns, we looked at where this was coming from, which showed me her assumptions, which I could show her her assumptions, okay, and therefore we were able to work through that. We were able to pinpoint those negative belief systems that she had that were not serving her, her subconscious blocks her thinking she had flaws or shortcomings and work through those to create a mantra and affirmations that would help her get what she wants, manifest what she wants. But remember, you're, you're the person here. It's not the techniques, it's you. Like she said here, you decide. And that's what we really work through. And I will always ask you, what do you want? All right, and we work through what you want. So this is your world. So, you know, there's no limitations unless you set the limitations. So I guess that's what I'm trying to say in this video too, is if you're saying anxiety is a limitation, if you're saying negative beliefs are a limitation, then you're going to be presented with that. It's actually the acceptance of those negative beliefs. It's actually the acceptance of the judgment. It's the judgment of um, those negative beliefs is the issue, okay? So if you think, if you're saying I'm reacting in your interpretation of the reaction, is something that you feel is negative and wrong, that's gonna be manifested out, all right? But if you start saying, I'm reacting, I can still get what I want, this is showing me something, this isn't going to mess up my manifestation, then that's going to go as well because whatever you say goes because you are the creative power in your reality. So you need to learn to soothe yourself. You need to stop thinking you need to be so perfect to get your manifestation, all right? Here's somebody that was going through pure hell, Okay, pure hell and being um, on medication and having to go see a doctor and the doctor's even setting her up to be heartbroken, okay, for a heartbreak and telling her she just needs to move on despite all these different circumstances and what she was being reflected to. And that's why I told you, everything that you were seeing is trash because it's just a reflection in the, it's just a reflection. The 3D is a reflection of what you think's going on. So let's get to those. Let's flip them on their head, come up with different intentions, come up with a different story. Okay, start becoming a version of yourself that you're valuing. Stop making these crappy rules for yourself. Start changing the story with a new mental diet, okay? With new thought processes, because we know our thoughts create, right? It's that simple, but it's those rules, those interpretations that we're creating that stops our manifestations. It's those limiting beliefs that we're holding so strong to that we are so tied to in our identity that are stopping our manifestations from coming to fruition as easily as we'd like them to. So again, this client, we worked together. She was able to go from breakup to getting this two carat diamond ring um, or emerald cut ring and to moving to a new state where she went into for a home to this wedding. She was able to manifest it all, okay? But if she would have just stopped with, oh, I have anxiety, I'm screwing this up, I'm reacting, you know, um, and continuously on the other negative beliefs that she was holding within, it would have stopped her manifestation. But we persisted through those, okay? I helped her persist or I helped her come up with her limiting beliefs, okay? Or at least pinpoint the limiting beliefs and limiting assumptions. We let go of those, all right? We worked on healing those parts and sticking to a new story, 
okay? And loving herself, okay? Giving self-love to herself. And that's why, you know, if you say you can't have an anxiety, that's not really self-loving, right? And this is all, again, if you watch my videos, it's about accepting ourselves. So if you are making the rules that you can't feel anxious and that you can't have negative thoughts because you're going to F up your manifestation, don't, you're going to see evidence of it because... It's just a reality of the world of the, the 3d is um an illusion it's it's not the reality okay the reality of the situation is that you keep saying that and how this works how the law works is whatever you continuously tell your subconscious tell the universe universe you're going to be met with back all right so therefore you need to be very careful with what words you're choosing and what rules you are making for yourself okay and the way you're not like accepting yourself so work on that self-acceptance look at the rules you're creating for yourself look at what limitations you think that you have for yourself and then go to the end of what you want okay start creating mantras or affirmations or scenes that are going to help you get what you want all right and stick to that create those thoughts that are going to be aligned with those um, and you will manifest what you want. Because look, this was a crazy circumstance. You could say, oh gosh, she had to move out. She was kicked out. Like they were broken up to they're happily married. All right. So you guys can do the same thing. If you'd like my help, I'd love to help you. Check out the description link below. Please like, share, and comment on the video. I'll see you in the next one.